My dear friends, you are of course looking at an original M.C. Escher artwork that I picked up this past week at the National Gallery of Victoria while I went to see the new exhibit with my family which merged the artwork, the amazing artwork of M.C. Escher, one of the world's kind of most well-known artists, and Nendo, a Japanese design house. I, it's an amazing exhibit, highly recommended. It works for lots of different ages. Even my kids loved it. You know, the youngest one struggled a little bit, but the other two, uh, 10 and 8, really loved it. Highly recommended. Go out and, and, and check it out if you live in Melbourne. And at a certain point, as I was walking through the, the exhibit, I realized that I was spending more time reading the little descriptions on the side than actually looking at and experiencing the artwork. And I kind of stood back, I was like, you know what? That's sometimes the way we relate to the Torah. Sometimes we read the Torah, we spend a lot of time reading the Torah without stepping back and immersing ourselves in the consciousness that the Torah is describing. We're not actually living the Torah, we're reading the words, but are we experiencing what the words are guiding us towards? Now, this is an imperfect metaphor for many reasons. I mean, it is possible to experience and to understand to an extent the artwork without reading the description, whereas our understanding is that without the words of the Torah, we can't really understand that consciousness. But nonetheless, what stood out for me is this idea that sometimes we get so lost in the words without stepping back and experiencing the art, the mastery, the beauty of the consciousness, the true Torah consciousness. Because of course, the Torah is not just information. The Torah is about shifting our consciousness. Now there's another thing that Escher taught me, and this is beautifully expressed in my original art piece. I haven't put it up on the wall yet. Um, this piece here, you know, you see Escher, he's drawn himself, and he's looking at himself, and he's looking at the reflection of himself in that marble ball. And, of course, it's all an illusion. Everything's an illusion in his hand. I mean, so masterfully drawn. Look at that detail. It's an illusion, and he's poking fun at what art is doing. I mean, art is an illusion. For, it's, a, it's a representation of life, but it gets us to stop and think, actually, you know what? Real life can be an illusion as well. In our Parsha, we see Yehuda and Yosef. They're, they've been arguing. Yehuda thinks that he's standing in front of the Egyptian ruler. He doesn't know why this Egyptian ruler, why Yosef is putting him through all these terrible things. He doesn't know why all these terrible things are happening. And finally, we get to this moment, and Yehuda just flips out, and he, and he digs deep, and he turns to Yosef, and he, he talks to Yosef's heart, and Yosef reveals himself, and everything is okay. The Ishbitzer Rebbe says that from the perspective of Yehuda, he thought he was dealing with pure evil. He thought he was dealing with this Egyptian, you know, the worst Egyptian guy. And then it was revealed to him that actually... It was his brother the whole time. And the Ishbitzer says that in the future, in the future, when the redemption comes, our mind is going to be opened up and we're going to realize how this whole time, through all the difficulty and through all the exile and all the pain that we've gone through, Hashem is behind all of it. Now, right now, we can't see that. We can't understand, we can't see that it's an illusion and we don't need to live like it's an illusion. I mean, we've went through the, the terrible pain this past week of losing this four-day-old baby, Amiad Yisrael. Four-day-old baby. We need to feel that pain. We can't see how Hashem's behind it, even though the family, from their perspective, they understand it. But we can't. We just have to be with that pain. We have to be there for the family. We have to pray for Am Yisrael. We have to be there. But also, deep down, we know somehow Hashem is behind everything. Hashem is there. Hashem is, is looking after us. We can't always see it, but there is this illusion. And so we dive in right now, we dive in that the illusion of exile is removed and that our eyes are open to see the truth and to see the goodness of reality. And may that goodness and that kindness and that peace and that harmony be revealed today, today, this very moment for us, for all of Am Yisrael and for the whole world. Shabbat Shalom.